everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I brought in my notebook today because I've got things on here that I wanted to remember to say. And I also brought in this paper with all of these names on it and channels. There, there's a lot of channels on here. And what is this channel? I'll talk about this first, I guess. I didn't know where I was going to start, but I guess I'll talk about this first. These names are all of the people in the Shed Wars. And I've been trying real hard to gather information from every team that's on this. There's the Team Peacemaker, Team Over the Pond, Team Woodcutter, and the Team Will It Grow. And, gosh, I've been watching a lot of them, and the, they're, they're all good. They're all good. Um... And they're showing their, their gardens and their produce, and some are weighing them. In fact, I just watched Bull, and he just he just weighed out nine pounds. So I don't know how far ahead. I, the thing that I want to know is, will we get a total for each group to know? And it's not a fair number of people in some of these. When you think of Team Peacemaker, there's only three channels in that one. And if you look at Team Woodcutter, there's I got yeah, there's a lot. There's there's all of all of this plus these up here the Team Woodcutter. So it's really it's like I don't know how we're gonna do this. And my husband and I were talking about how I would get together with the other judges. Yes, we need to get together with um, Ernie and uh, need to get together with them and we were thinking maybe we could zoom um, chat. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> maybe one of you do. But um, like the schools were using Zoom to have the classroom. Zoom meetings. Zoom meetings, yeah. So we'd have to do that. Something like that. Okay, and the other things that I wanted to talk about were Silver had so far, she's got three baby chicks. I took a little video of it, but when I took the video, she only has two of them. But now she's got a third one, and they're all the yellow chicks. So they will probably be white hens. It, let's hope they're hens. <laughs> I wanted to check their wings, but because if you check their wings within the first two to three days, sometimes you can tell whether they're a boy or a girl. Well... Silver really was staring at my hand as my hand was trying to go and I thought oh I don't want to get snapped so I didn't I didn't get a chance to look so I'm going to put that little video in with with that and I want to show you also I was watching Rusty the Ozark Duke he was making something with a tire and when he was cutting the tire I was thinking oh gosh the tread on that tire still looks good and it gave me an idea boing an idea I got an idea and so what I did is I took you outside and I showed you how to test whether your tread on your tires are good or not and we use a penny and it's the you're supposed to be able to see a blink if you could if you cover a Lincoln's hair is that all it has yeah, to if be you covered? see the top of his head above or if the tread is Lower than the top of his head, it's worn out. It was all the way down to his nose. Oh, you got real good tread. You got good then. tread. If you don't, if it's if it's covers his hair, he's still good. Yeah. yeah. So like but when if you, you go, see all of his hair, it's then not it's good. no good. Yeah. So um, I did. I took a, took you outside to do that, so you'll see that. Um, and I also I went over to the bluebird box to look because we have house wrens that are trying to build a nest. Every day there's a house wren trying to build a nest. And every day I have to take those sticks out and I show you what the sticks look like. They don't make very pretty nests. Those poor babies, they would have to sit and it's, it's not a comfortable bed. Not like the bluebirds would do. And the reason I keep taking them out, if the bluebird people came by and they were checking the boxes, they would take the nest out and if there was eggs in there or little chicks in there, they would destroy them because they're mean to the bluebirds. And the whole purpose of the bluebird boxes is they're trying to increase the bluebirds in our production. area. Production, yes. 
So I show you that. I show you me destroying a nest. Um, you a home wrecker, you. I know. <laughs> Silver's got two little babies so far. Ooh, two little yellow ones. That's wonderful, Silver. I'm glad it's coming to an end for you. That today is the start of it. Tomorrow they're supposed to all be hatched. I put it so that they could get their water and their food. I put the baby food in there. Must be, she's liking it really a lot. I saw Silver eating it. The babies haven't eaten yet. Hmm. Oh, she teaches them. I gave them the little water thing. They're so darn cute. I hope that you're both little girls. That would be a lovely thing, but you never know. That's the downside. I wish I could figure that out so that nobody hatches out little boys unless we really want the roosters. But I'd rather not get the roosters. This is crooked, I know. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna turn it and we'll get a better picture. Sorry about that sideways look. I'm trying to get it so that I get the babies. There they are, look at them. They're so darn cute and little. She's not as protective of these as as Emma is. Emma's really protective. You can't even get close to the babies with a camera. She's got them out and about and I'm talking and she's not even paying any attention to me. But she really needed the um, nutrition. So I'm glad to see that they're eating. She'll start to perk up after she's eaten some High protein food. This baby food is really high protein. So, this will be very helpful. Just talking to the little ones. Wish I could catch a baby being hatched. That would be really wonderful. Oh, you're having them eat the little bit that you're dropping on the ground. That's good. You're teaching them something. Yeah. Oh, you're such a pretty mama. You're so good to your babies. Look at you, you two little yellow ones. You'll probably be white. Guess what's underneath her still? It was a cream-colored egg that broke open by the looks of it. And I don't know what other color. She's got a buff egg under there. She's got an Americana egg under there. I almost forget what they have underneath them until I see the shells. Okay. I was just watching Rusty and the tire that he was cutting in half and it made me think of this. When you test a tire to see whether it needs new tread or not, because sometimes you go into the garage and they say it needs, your tires are too not good. Is there a stone there? There's a stone in that one. We'll go to a different one. And you take a penny, and if it takes the top of Abe Lincoln's head, you, your tire is fine. Like this one is plenty fine. Let me slide it into this one if I can. Okay, it's in. And see, it's, it's, it's fine. I've got lots of tread on this vehicle. So that's how you do it. So if they try to try to tell you, oh, you need new tires. Let's see what this one does. You can say, nope, I did the ten penny t test. This one takes all the way down to his nose. So he's, that's a good tire. Let's go and check my car. That was Jim. It's gonna be a little darker in here because my car's in the garage. Oh dear, this is gonna be a little harder for me to test for you. But I will stick it in. I'm sticking, whoops, let me make sure I got the right part of him. I'm sticking it into the tire. And I will put my thumb on the spot. Whoops, that, that turned it. Let me put it in better. Okay, I think I've got it in good. Oh yeah, mine goes up to the nose too. So 
I'm good with um, tires also. I knew I would be. And now we'll go check the truck. The truck. That's what, oh yeah, it's all the way to the nose. Oh my goodness, yes. That one's to his lips. So we've got good tires. No reason for them to have to change them. Tires are extremely expensive. So that's how you test them before you go to the garage. Every day I come out to check this box because this is the actually the bluebird box, but the house wrens keep trying to build their nest. And because they are they're mean birds, you're supposed to come out here and you're supposed to take the nest out. This goes to show you what their nests look like. It's sticks, whereas the bluebirds have real soft stuff. They just have all these sticks. And every day I'm taking this out, and every day those birds keep building. They're determined little things, but if the bluebird man comes, he would take this out along with, if there were eggs or babies, they would all be coming out because they, they kill the bluebird, and the bluebird is what we're trying to get. So I have to clean this out. I have to destroy the nest once again. Oh, you poor birds, I feel bad for you every time I do this, but you need to stop building in this box. Go find a different box, one that nobody checks. There we go, it's done again. Poor little bird. You're supposed to take these sticks and throw them somewhere else, but I never do. I just leave them here. As you can see, I've done it several times. Also, I think I figured out which hen is in the box that's not silver, and it wasn't um, my buff. I think it's Rhonda. Rhonda went broody last year, and she's, I think, the one that's gone broody again. Now, she was a real good um, at going broody. When Emma first started going broody, I had to keep picking her up and putting her back in her nest because she kept getting lost. It was like she knows her home is there somewhere, but if there was other eggs, she would go sit on them instead of her eggs. And um, so, but it's Rhonda, she's staying, she's very good at staying on her nests. I had a thought in that moment when I was talking and it just went, whoop, it went gone. I don't know what else I was thinking. I was thinking of something. Oh, I was gonna say it and I, I talked too long and it went out of my head. Then I was watching, oh, I was watching Liddy Mac, Liddy MC. I don't know what her name is. I always want to say Mac. It's not. It's Liddy MC. I was watching her. And she was talking about encouraging the people that are that have graduated from 2020. And she had a graduation of a, a person that she had a graduate. Or so, I might have been her, her son. son. I don't know. I think it was her son. It was her son. That graduated in 2000. 2000. And in 2000 is when the world was supposed to come to an end or the the electronics were supposed to go berserk and planes were supposed to crash and there was all kinds of stuff well you know what nothing happened and but 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 in 2003 the whole east coast went dark except for us i had no clue that the whole east coast had gone dark it was new york cleveland detroit toronto ottawa canada they went dark and we went to church and I'm thinking I went to Saturday night mass it was the day that it was was August 14th I think it was a Saturday I don't even know no, I went to, I, I was going was to church Sunday morning or it might have been Sunday morning I was going to yeah. church and I thought wow look at all the cars at the gas station we never have cars at the gas station they were all lined up and the reason these cars were at the gas station is we were one of the towns that still had electricity. And the pumps apparently need electricity to run. So and they were all there getting their gas. And people talked about how they camped out and got to know their neighbors and they were socializing and all that good stuff. We had no clue anything was even happening. We didn't even know that the power went out or the grid went out. Apparently we didn't turn on the TV or the radio or anything at that time. We didn't watch anything, so we didn't know. We just were in our little world like we're in our little world now with all the commotion that's going on outside. We don't feel it because we're still in our own little worlds here. 
I guess that is my video of today. I guess I went all over the place. But oh wait, I forgot to I forgot. Oh back up, back up, back up, way back up. I forgot to put a spot in for the video. It's gonna be in there somewhere, and if it's not, it'll be in there. I don't know where it'll be. I'll find a break where I stop talking for half a second and I'll slide it in. That's how I did, did it the other day when I forgot to put a break or put a little break in. I like to say the video will go in right here, but I forgot to do it. I started talking about it instead. So that's what you're going to see. So those of you that need a little assistance, you'll have to listen to my description. I think I talk through the video. So uh, there's a lot of chatter. I still talk. I'm still talking. I guess I better just whoo, breathe and you, say good. What? I was gonna, just going to say, you're chattering all day long. I do all the day, all the time. When you're home, when I'm by myself, I don't talk at all. But anyways, I will say goodbye. Bye.